All right, Hack is Corey Lodge. It's three, three thirty-two. The final girl. Chapter ten. Is that it's just the last chapter? Maybe. God damn it! I'm still so pissed off about Ryan, dude. Why didn't I just okay. shoot the damn thing? Nice. Hopefully they realize the campus glows and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. Your rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right. So, should we? Okay. What are we gonna? I need to get to a vantage point. Yes. Vantage point. Let's get upstairs. All right. Please. I don't want to kill Caitlyn too. I might. Dude. It, it's bound to happen. It's bound to fucking happen. I'm going to make a wrong choice. And it's going to get Caitlyn killed. And the remaining people standing are Emma, Abby, and fucking Ryan. Uh, and fucking uh, Dylan. How long has this guy been here? Well, Emma and Dylan are fucking werewolves. So... Prepare for a tech. No, let's keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Yes. Let's wait for a good advantage point. This can't be it because they can just come from behind, you know? And we, and we, we can look the, we can look out around the, like the lodge and shit. Okay. So what, what do we got here? What do we got here? We got a bunch of sh oh yeah see look there's more stairs we can go up to we can get hit up to the roof but they can climb the roof hold up so if we were to get the stairs then we can see what's inside then we can see what goes through the door right but the door is barricaded and so they're gonna try getting through the door and it's they can't get in because it's gonna be barricaded so what they're gonna do is that they're, they're gonna climb through the roof and they're gonna see us on the roof if we can get on the roof i don't fucking know And we're gonna die. I don't know. Is this a good vantage point? I mean, we can't even like. Okay. This is, this is a mirror. Okay. I don't know. I think that's the only spot that we can just chill at. I think. Oh wait. This is couch. What's that ring? Is a ring? Where have I seen this emblem before? Who discovered? Inscribed jewelry. Okay. Uh, I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Do not, Caitlin. Busted. How's it busted? It's just been at the fucking. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that's it. Here, let's go around the other side. Fuck it. Get down the stairs, Kate. Let's go on the other side. Wait, isn't there a room over here though? There's a room in here. Oh, I think we've been here though. Yeah, we've been in here. It's like a classroom. Imagine there being a classroom at camp. <laughs> Bro, after tonight, they are never coming back to this camp. Either they're never coming back to this camp or they'll end everything, but still come back to the camp because they're stupid. Well, then again, there's not really... I mean, if they kill the werewolves, right? Then they... I mean, they can. They can come back because technically the werewolves are, were like the only thing that was dangerous, you know? But I feel like these people are s s way too goddamn traumatized to even do anything. So, because like the only remaining people that are infected are literally Caitlyn and Abby. Because Nick... Is a werewolf. Laura is a fucking werewolf. Dylan just turned into a werewolf. Ryan's dead, unfortunately. Because I'm a dumbass. I fucking hated that. Ryan's my favorite Jeez. character. I'm see, really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Like fucking Christ, dude. Alright, I think that's it. Here, let's go uh let's go back to that vantage point. Oh wait. Oh, is this just the ring emblem thing? Wait, what? Nice to put a name to a big name face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Hmm. 
our bet. All right, here, let's go back to that vantage point before some shit happens. Okay, um... I hope that I'm getting closer to this game. I think this is the final chapter. My prep for attack. Okay. Well, are we just gonna stand here? There's like two or three, I hear. Oh, they're on the roof. Showtime, motherfuckers. But bro, but she's gonna be so like, but bro, she's gonna be so overwhelmed with the amount. <laughs> There's like three. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? Yeah, around like three hours though. Two hours or six, three hours, depending on what, what time. Oh shit. Come on, Kayla. You're a big girl. Uh fucking get wait. Oh if we wait then we're probably gonna have to shoot it. But if we wait, then something else is gonna come out. But if we run... Let's run, let's run, get the fuck out of there. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck, I think that was a bad idea. God. I gotta help her. I gotta help her. What are you gonna do, Abby? Come on now. Yo, I think that was a bad decision. See, you know, I think that was a good decision. Silver shells. Beam window. What does the fucking beam mean? Oh, we go up to the beam. Um, go up to the beam. Let's lower Croft this shit. So is there just one? Oh fuck, she's gonna fall and die. No, not, not if I can say anything about it. Come on. Oh, that's fucking creepy. That's fucking creepy, dude. Run, hide, hide, and then not breathe. You just hold her breath. I'm waiting for that prompt. I'm waiting for the prompt. I'm waiting for the prompt, dude. But I think it looks... Dude, I love the modeling. I'm not gonna lie. I actually like the modeling of the of the werewolf. It's like, because it, I I mean it's interesting because you would see a werewolf just like a giant guy with like fur. But like this dude's like a monster, which is really interesting. Come on, it's 4 a.m. Over here, Caitlin! Better not make any noise. 
Investigate, run, investigate. Go to Abby, go to Abby. Silver shells! Hey, I'm here! Load it, load it, load it, load it. Okay, Lynn, you better fucking load the shit. I won't mess this up. For you, Ryan. So who was that? Was that Nick? Who? Okay. So who was that? Really? All right. Is the sun coming up? Or was that the moon? That's the moon still. Damn it. I think it's sunrise. Oh wait, is that the sun? That's a short ass chapter. The curse is broken. Whatever the cost, whatever darkness from the night still remains, the future, at least, is now a little brighter. Yeah. What happened to this family they brought upon themselves, and you shouldn't pity them. I knew I could rely on you. I knew that if orchestrated properly, the events of Hackett's quarry would unfold just the way I wanted them to. And now, well... I suppose, I suppose it's goodbye. Don't worry. Damn. I'll never forget how you helped me. Is that the end of the game? No, surely not. There has to be like a, uh, like a, something after. Okay. They just employed us with this happy music. <laughs> and this giant crisis happened. So, the only survivors are just Caitlyn and Abby. Oh, Max infected as Chris. Oh, as Chris actually has was left alive. Max remains something. I didn't read it. Ryan was killed by a werewolf because the camp leader he once looked up to. Yeah. Rest in peace. I'm sorry. The seas. Oh. Travis reached bloody end for their... Oh, shit. So Laura died too. Travis. They <laughs> say bloody end for each other's hands. Bobby. Uninjured. Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in werewolf form. Yeah. Laura shot cons. Oh, I don't know her name. I was struggling with the gun. The seas was choked to death by. Oh. Jacob was killed by a werewolf. Nick, after Ryan eventually abandoned him in Hackett's quarry basement. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Kaylee. Chris Hackett's daughter, Kaylee, was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her as a werewolf, Chris. Chris, still alive, spared by Ryan at Hackett House. Chris must face the consequences from his rampage. Dylan is still effective, survived the night, but must live uh, now with the curse. Nick, Nick's role of curse was lifted by Caitlin, killed Caitlin. When Caitlin killed Caitlin. Abigail is alive after surviving the storm shelter with Werewolf Emma. Abigail made it to Chris Hackett's uh, surveillance room. Emma is still infected, survived the night through the storm shelter, but the Werewolf infected something. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, Kurt, uh, curing all the infected by his lingerings. Okay, who the fuck is Caleb? Caleb, oh, the sister, okay. I knew it, I knew he was infected. So we didn't kill Chris because Chris killed Ryan instead. So when it hits full moon, the white wolf alive, the sun rises, the white wolf 
slings back into the safety of the woods, waiting for the full moon to come again. Who's the white wolf? Who's the white wolf? I'm gonna have to play this game again. Bodies oh. recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Oh. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural cool. occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so... I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we oh, all have someone it? on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Oh, someone shit. actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> this okay, is a podcast fine. that Let's Ryan was listening to. For anyone to. listening at home, right. we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you, what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently, they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes. you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah, Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting oh, grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming. That was the guy that was drowned in the lake. That was the one drowned, Jacob and saw. Someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't 
verify this info. Of but... course you can. What, do I have like a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay. Is this legal oh, to the show on a fucking this? podcast? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay. I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who took a picture of it? that? I don't think family? anyone took a picture the of that. The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker. He's dead. What about the other one? Anne Radcliffe? Still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. Can I skip this? I can. All right. That was an interesting show. Death, wait, wait, wait. You've unlocked the death rewind, the death rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three wide wisely. Let's go. Enable. Wait, you can enable or disable the death rewind feature via the acceptability to- I didn't turn it on? It was a feature! What the fuck? Death rewind on. It was already on though. Death rewind feature enabled. Exclusive wolf pack and- wait, ex excludes- okay. So what does that mean? Can I go back? Oh damn, I don't know if I can go back. That was a cool game. I'm not gonna lie, I really like that game. Um, uh, especially when it was, like, especially because, like, I mean, there's always a whole bunch of, like, there's always, like, there, there's, there's a, there's a good handful of, like, the, the choosing plot, the choosing which plot to go with games, and they're always bad, they're, they're always kind of mid, like, Minecraft, like, Telltale, like, Telltale Games, that was, like, basically their, their whole gist, right? But then Gel Telltale came, went out of business, and the only thing that was good was Minecraft Story Mode. Even then, wasn't really the best game. I mean, back then, when it came out, it was sick, but everyone forgot about it within, like, a year or two. But, like, uh, this game was actually really cool. The cinematics, the cast, it was a big cast, too. Like, the whole game entirely. This game looked beautiful. I'm not gonna, because it looks real. Like, in some parts, it actually looked like a movie, judging the fact that there is a whole like movie mode setting uh, movie mode like game mode that you can watch you know uh, uh that you can that you can do except single player and stuff like that basically it's the same as the game but just you don't have to move anyone around which i want i might want to do that just to see like the all the other endings but if you, uh but in order for me to do that you're gonna have to make another game save but that's fine this game was sick i <laughs> I love how actually how attached that I got with the characters because I was pissed off when I killed, uh, uh, when I killed Ryan, because I Justice Smith I just like Justice Smith and I actually really liked Ryan as a character because he was like the the most like kind of careful one, and it's really ironic to see him go by go it's really ironic to see him go. Honestly, I did not really care for Jacob. Jacob would have Jacob already pissed me off, so I didn't really give a damn. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I actually, I think there would have been another. I, I think there would have been another, um, uh, another ending if I actually ended up killing Chris Hackett. Because if it, if I killed Chris, then I feel like the game would have ended sooner. Maybe I, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll never know because I, I didn't kill Chris. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I, I did. I actually this is actually the very first game playthrough that I've actually finished. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, this game was sick. This game was sick, man. I liked it.